Good afternoon and welcome to the sunny village of Yapsen uh, on this beautiful uh, 1st of May uh, 2018. It's a great day, it's beautiful, sunny, uh, and I'm going to take you around this uh, fantastic little house. This is a property that was built for the owners who used to reside in that property and then moved in this when their daughter and son moved into this one. So, as you can see, off road parking for about three stroke four cars. Um, nice shrubs and as you can see a fairly lovely location with all the different styles of property around and the grandparents of this particular gentleman actually built all the properties around you as you can see including the one next door and this one as well this property has a garage outside meters so you can disturbed security lighting which is on sensors as well and a shingle driveway Let's go into the property. As you can see here, a very lovely warm entrance hall. Uh, this is double glazed windows inserted into wood frames uh, with a tile flooring. Now, please remember this is a 360 degree camera. So again, whilst you're looking at this at any point, you can actually spin me round or the whole room round whilst you're viewing. So we're gonna go inside and have a look uh, into the main reception hall where we find the downstairs cloakroom, stairs leading up to the first floor, kitchen, and we're going to go into the living room to start with. This is the quite nice size. You can see you've got two large sofas and two chairs as well. Still plenty of room for a large coffee table in the middle. <clears throat> and again, because of all the shrubs outside, you've got quite a lot of privacy. Here, archway goes through to the dining area. And that has patio doors that leads out onto the garden. You'll see the garden in its full entirety in a minute. Door going through into the kitchen with a separate utility room, which is through there. And again, boiler on the wall. Uh, fairly fitted kitchen, built in twin ovens, hob, dishwasher, washing machines obviously in the utility room. And a decent size understairs cupboard here as well, as you can see with a light that comes on when you open the door. We make our way upstairs, as you'll see, this rather spacious staircase and landing leads you up where we can find the first room on our right, which is the bathroom. Now this is a four-piece suite. You've got a shower cubicle there, as you can see, with a glass screen, and then you've got bath, basin, and WC. Again. Crossing over to the smallest room, this is bedroom three, which has again a really good size, lovely and sunny aspect. Let's take a quick look outside. <clears throat> again, built in wardrobes in this room. And then into the master bedroom. This is the biggest bedroom out of the three with fitted wardrobes, once again, sliding mirror doors. Better just check my stomach, pull my tummy in. It's a little, little bit after the, uh, all the Christmas meals. Haven't managed to lose my weight yet, but there you go. Beautiful cherry tree to have a look as well. So a really decent sized room, as you can see, all the units to the side, a double bed, more units to the side. And we're gonna wake our way into the third second bedroom should I say uh, so the last one of the three bedrooms this is number two again fitted wardrobes on sliding doors and our first glimpse of the garden which as you can see is a lovely size and that's where we're going to be heading next uh, just before we go I just like to say that upstairs in the loft area it is quite a decent sized loft so if you wanted to extend as you can see you've probably got plenty of areas which you could go up into the loft and make a fourth bedroom with an ensuite shower room as it is plenty big enough. We'll now head out into the garden. And this is a particularly nice garden, decent size, what we call a proper, a proper garden. As you can see, you've got a wall that goes right the way down 
and then a brick wall at the bottom which is about I think eight foot high nine foot high and then again another wall that runs down here uh, here we've got the garage have a peek quick peek in the garage as you can see plenty of space for a gap for a car and there's also some loft space above as well so again if you do start to use the loft area you've still got this off loft here and we'll just have a quick walk up the garden so you can see this is a really nice garden plenty of lovely shrubs unfortunately we lost a, a kinianthus just recently just here um, that was very pretty but they started to plant more shrubs in this place sun rises in the east it sets in the west so in the evening time you get the sun all day long here as you can see all day long the sun is here but in the in the evening time the sun sets over in the west hand side so this would be perfect for evening barbecues uh, for plenty of family and friends to come and see you and you get a good idea of the height i'll just come out of the sunlight a bit just for the camera's sake there so you can see the height of the roof void there nice big dormer window in the back would give you a very large um, loft area with um, ensuite shower room and the neighbours are nice as well we've actually just sold that property to a couple who we'd sold their property for them uh, and they're a lovely couple so this particular property is um, number 20 Park Road of Yapton um, three bedroom detached house good sized accommodation beautiful sized garden lots of off-road parking uh, it's on the market for 425 if you'd like to come and look at the property if you'd like to look at this in any further details please go to our website Clark's Estates uh, or alternatively give us a call on 01903 884 820 my name is Chris nice to meet you all we'll speak to you soon take care